Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Hey amazing hackers, Hackstrader here, hope you're doing good. In this video, let us solve this particular lab called two-factor authentication bypass using a brute force attack. Without any delay, let us get into the question. This lab's two-factor authentication is vulnerable to brute forcing. You have already obtained a valid username and password, but do not have access to the user's two-factor authentication verification code. Okay. To solve the lab, brute force the two-factor authentication code and access Carlos account page. But uh, this question looks very straightforward. It is asking directly as to brute force us, but it says it's an expert level. Uh, most probably there might be some check while brute forcing. So we need to bypass that, I guess. Okay, here uh, we have the credentials of Carlos and his password. Okay, here we have some note. As the verification code will reset while you are running your attack, you may need to repeat this several times before you succeed. This is because the new code may be a number that your current intruder attack has already attempted. Okay. This looks little bit tricky, but don't worry, we will figure it out what to do. Uh, meanwhile, uh, okay, let us directly access the lab and always make sure your proxy is turned on to burp and go to the lab. Right, we have the lab here. Just let me directly go to my account. So in the previous lab, uh, I guess uh, they have given a particular username, username and password and an email client to access, okay, how it is happening. But here they haven't given anything like that. They directly gave the victim's username and password and we need to brute force the two-factor authentication code. So here our agenda is to brute force this particular two-factor authentication code. If there is any brute force protection, we need to bypass that brute force protection and solve this lab. Okay. So let us get in. Um, I'm giving the username and password. Copy. Paste. And again, copy. Paste. And just hit on login. Never. Okay. And A, B, C, D just like that i mean i think we need to give a number right but uh, okay something like this one two three four hit on login okay it says incorrect security code this means that uh, okay let us give the same again once again just like that and see okay it says incorrect security code and it is directly redirecting to the login page that means we don't have a chance to submit the same again okay uh, let's do one thing mm, let us try to brute force still if if there is any possibility copy uh, paste and again copy and again paste uh, let me click on login Okay, and uh, let us turn on the intercept here and let me give the same one, two, three, four. Hit on, let us take this directly to the intruder. And uh, meanwhile, I'm turning on the intercept. Okay, clear, add, right, and uh, what else? We need to give a proper number, number starting from zero to nine, 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 nine. And how many steps? One step and only four digit numbers, integers and fraction as zero. We need to provide the fraction as zero so that even if we get like one, it will be like zero, 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 one. 0002 so that is how it has to get submitted okay let me hit on start attack okay oh if you can see here it says 200 uh, that means we have a proper response here but i mean uh, proper response in a sense uh, 
now it is telling uh, incorrect uh, security code but when it comes to here it says bad re request uh, invalid csrf token session does not contain a csrf token ah uh, what is this okay let's ignore this this is a bit, little bit weird invalid csrf token but session does not contain a csrf token this is a kind of comedy okay fine uh, let us ignore this comedy thing as of now but uh, yeah it is considering it as a bad request if we are uh, doing the same uh, code i mean if we are trying to brute force multiple uh, multi-factor authentication codes and it is giving us a 400 error that means uh, it's a bad request okay so this means uh, there is some kind of check uh, some kind of check not uh, so it is only allowing twice to enter the code if we don't enter the correct code it will redirect us to the login page okay this is this is good, very nice okay okay now what we should do is uh, every time we do a brute force i mean every time a request is submitted within the intruder the there should this login page uh, the cycle has to repeat cycle in a sense uh, we need to log into the application by giving the username and password so that the next request what we are going to give it is not going to be a 400 uh, bad request okay so for that how do we repeat this sequence for every intruder uh, request we have 10,000 requests here so how do we repeat this manual we cannot repeat this manually right in between of every every successful request so what we are going to do is we will have to create a macro for this okay so before that just go to the proxy and http history now here uh, let me go to the bottom okay 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 yeah from here uh, just let us have a look so here we have the get login okay so get login means it will give the username and password fields to enter okay and uh, okay let me just mark this for our reference highlight yeah just like this uh, get login and then we have a post login that means we are giving okay there is a csrf code here but why that message was like that okay fine uh, but uh, we have the username here and the password here we have submitted this so this is a post login post uh, request slash login so let us highlight this as well uh, the reason why i'm highlighting I'll, I'll let you know that and then this is a get uh, login to that means this will get the uh, login to page and uh, obviously this will also deliver the uh, otp or the multi-factor authentication code to that particular uh, uh, user that particular user in a sense are victim only okay uh, victims email id or phone number whatever it whatever it is uh okay so i'm highlighting this one as well okay now if you can see these three are in sequence these three has to be in sequence that means we need to get the login page we need to uh, post the credentials username and password and then we need to uh, get the otp or otp page okay so th that is a proper sequence here just forget about this because this one this particular post slash login i mean the submission of uh, multi-factor authentication code we, we we are already doing it in the intruder itself so uh, in between of this uh, uh, in between of every intruder uh, request there will be this particular three you are uh, three uh, request cycle will be going on I'll explain you, you'll uh, get to know this in a better way when we start the attack, okay? So for this, how do we uh, repeat this in a cycle? Okay, for that we need to uh, create a macro. Now just go to the project options and here we have something called sessions. So here it says session handling rules, okay? Just click on add and there is a rule number one and here again click on add. So here there is an option called run a macro just click on this macro and again click on add here so here this will bring all the requests which are available in our http history now we need to select those particular requests which has to go in a cycle uh, holding the control button 
okay in the keyboard just click on this first get login and then post login and then uh, get login to okay and click on okay three requests got selected and uh, those three requests are in in uh, sequence here even if they are not in sequence we can use these buttons move up move down and remove and configure items to just uh, 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 configure these things uh, but as of now we have done it perfectly now what are we going to do so this is a, a login get login that means it is getting the login page this is the post login it is submitting the credentials and this is get login to this is admitting a, a particular uh, this is delivering the OTP or a multi-factor authentication code to the victim's uh, email client which we don't have access okay so now you can click on this uh, uh, test macro okay just click on this test macro and you can see that in a line these three things will be submitted okay just have a look once again retest macro so now again see the first request has submitted second and then third is submitted so th that's how it is so this will go in a cycle okay just click on ok here and ok again and ok again and ok again oh yes okay so we have everything here so now what is our uh, uh, what we have to do is uh, go to the intercept and just try to log in once again and capture the uh, this thing uh, uh, particular uh, OTP field and we will try to bypass it okay okay mm, this is the reason my account carless and put the password login so now again put some password as one two three four and then we'll make sure the intercept is turned on and hit on login so now take this to the intruder so once it is taken to the intruder just click on clear add this particular thing click add payload and numbers and zero till nine 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 one step at once four four and zero zero okay so minimum it is as four maximum it is as four the reason is whatever the uh, otp is if it is one it will be submitted as zero 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 one if it is five zero 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 five okay four integers minimum and four uh, four integers maximum no fraction values has to be uh, entered and for example these are the examples here okay and there is one more main thing that we have to look into it that is uh, resource poll okay so just have a look at the resource poll it says 10 so 10 means all 10 requests will submit at once okay here for just two requests only we are getting an invalid uh, i mean invalid uh, security code but just for two requests it is directly redirecting us to the login page so we want only one request to be submitted at once so just put your cursor here and enter one okay that means only one particular request will be submitted at once and there will be there will be no gap of course but here we have something called delay between request we can put some delay but it's not needed uh, we can put it if there is any particular issue that we are facing okay uh, just hit on start attack and we have to see now okay still we are getting 400 bad requests and i think we should not get this thing okay let us wait for some time and have a look what is happening guys we did a small mistake here so uh, the reason for uh, all the 400 uh, bad requests is uh, we need to go to the project options and uh, if you remember we got a particular alert okay so just go to the scope and here if you can see it says use custom scope but we need to include all urls within the scope include all urls okay if you remember pre previously when we click ok like this so it said the rule is not in scope of your url you are you sure you want to proceed so i'll, I'll give that particular timeline uh, somewhere here on the screen uh, we got this particular uh, alert previously but we just ignored this 
okay so we should not ignore this and we need to put all the urls in scope okay uh, include all the urls in scope and click ok and then go back to the intruder and just click on start attack and now just have a look we are getting all 200 okay responses only we are not getting any four, 400 uh, bad requests we should either get 200 response or 302 response for a proper password i mean a proper uh, 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 multi-factor authentication code okay let us wait for some time until the attack get finished hey amazing hackers again we are back with the same video the reason is like yesterday i have uh, kept this one but uh, unfortunately the payload went till 5000 but there was no luck and uh, it took more than two hours for the, for that to get uh, the payload till 5000 but we did not get a 302 response and today morning also the same situation but uh, i was uh, i mean i was lack of patience uh, it went till 2000 and I again stopped it and now again with a fresh lab I again started it and uh, this time with luck at six, 0697 is the password I mean the uh, multi-factor authentication code and here comes the response and it says my account ID equals to Carlos so just right click and show response in browser I don't want to show this dialog again copy and go ahead here just paste it and hit enter uh, finally the lab is solved and congratulations so this is how it is you need to have a lot of uh, patience to solve these kind of labs congratulate yourself really for solving the lab if you solve the lab and uh, if you are not able to solve just wait for patient wait patiently and uh, solve this lab that's all from my side and have a great day.